yes uh, welcome uh. so in the last topic we were discussing about the refrigeration what do you mean by near refrigeration what are the applications major applications of refrigeration on what basis or on the what application or on what process the refrigerator works and next we have discussed about the what are the types of refrigerator that is vapor compression uh, refrigeration system and vapor absorption refrigeration system so first we are going to discuss about the vapor compression now you can able to see this the block diagram of vapor compression so you can measure the major parts of this in this refrigerator uh, refrigeration system is evaporator compressor condenser and expansion valve so these are the major parts of the refrigeration system without that these parts it cannot able to work first okay we will let us assume or let us assume or when we starting is about the in this evaporator already the liquid refrigerant will be present inside the evaporator so it is it will be in the partial in the form of vapor only means it is in the form of liquid only what happens when the evaporator starts uh, extracting the heat from the cabinet or system we, we, how do you start extracting the heat from the cabinet or system is whenever we are going to keep any items into the refrigerator automatically it will be the temperature is it will be in the form of surrounding temperature only means it will be the higher temperature than inside the refrigeration system that is automatically it will be there so whenever we want to keep any uh, system uh, any items into the system that is what we call it as in a cabinet this evaporator starts absorbing the heat content from that particular uh, items whether it might be a food stuff or whether it might be a fruits or whether it might be vegetables or anything what we want to keep inside the cabinet that is inside the refrigeration system automatically this evaporator starts absorbing the heat from the that particular items say before that already with the evaporator will be having some refrigerant which will be having with the low temperature and with the low pressure with partially vapor now what happens here when it starts absorbing that uh, heat content in that particular items automatically that liquid will uh, undergoes in the form of vapor means it changes its phase from liquid to vapor wow. how it changes is because of the heat content what is present inside the uh, refrigeration that is cabin uh, cabin system that heat will be absorbed by this evaporator now that evaporator absorbs after that what happens the liquid will be changed in the form of vapor because of the heat that is absorbed now wow. when it undergoes the phase changes phase from liquid to vapor now after that this phase uh, the compressor extra uh, draws this fluid that is the draws this uh, liquid vapor with a low temperature and low pressure now what happens here when it starts a compressor the function of the compressor is to compress that liquid that is compress that vapor now it starts the compressing the vapor automatically what happens the uh, pressure also increases here once the pressure increases automatically the temperature uh, pressure versus temperature pressure uh, if pressure is increases automatically the temperature also increases now now it has been change uh, the what is the liquid is uh, partially vapor liquid is there that changes is from it increases the pressure along with the temperature means how uh, how it is increases its pressure is because of the compressor compresses the vapor which is present in the form of uh, in the evaporator which is coming to the compressor it squeezes means it compresses whenever it going to compresses automatically the pressure of that vapor increases once the vapor pressure increases automatically the temperature also increases here when it moves when it, uh, after uh, coming from the compressor it moves to the condenser now when it is com coming to the condenser the vapor will be in the form of with a high temperature uh, high pr uh, pressure with high temperature you need to remember when it is starting was with a low temperature with the low pressure then automatically it has been changed its phase from liquid to the vapor that vapor will be in the form of low temperature and a low pressure when when it reaches to the compressor automatically the compressor compresses that now the pressure is increased when pressure is increased automatically the temperature also will be increased now that uh, high pressure and high temperature refrigerant is move will be moved to the condenser what the condenser will do here now the condenser reduces the heat means it releases the heat content which is present in that refrigerant it uh, sends the heat to the surroundings now what happens when it uh, sends that surroundings automatically the pressure uh, the temperature will be reduced here once the temperature will be reduced means what happens again the vapor will be uh, changes its phase from vapor to the liquid so i'll repeat once again in this condition when the refrigerant moves from condenser to the uh, compressor to the condenser will be in the state of with a vapor with a high pressure and high temperature 
when once the condensers reach here what happens the the condenser absorbs the heat heat content which is present in that vapor now what happens when if we if we remove the heat in the vapor automatically again it changes to the liquid state so again that which is the heat content is there that will be sent to the surroundings means it will uh, reject the heat at this particular system in this evaporated it absorbs the heat content in this condenser it rejects the heat here so what happens when it is rejecting the heat now the refrigerant will be in the form of low uh, low pressure with low temperature with high pressure here only the temperature has been reduced when the temperature has been reduced automatically what happens here it changes its phase from low uh, vapor to the again to the liquid phase only now from this condenser the refrigerant will be moving in the form of liquid with low uh, temperature and with a high pressure with a high pressure the pressure is been not reduced here only the temperature has been reduced so when it, the temperature has been reduced automatically the heat will be also released to the surroundings so in this phase it has been changes from vapor to the again to the liquid now when it goes to reaches to the expansion wall again what happens here expansion wall it starts expanding in this form so when it starts expanding in this form again the pressure will be reduced when it expands through the wall automatically because when we are compressed that it has increased the pressure now we are expanding that automatically when you are it passes through the expansion wall the vapor which is there in the pressure it will be starts expanding there once it starts expanding what happens automatically the pressure also will be reduced now 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 the condition of the liquid is low temperature with a low pressure again it starts going to the evaporator so again from the evaporator the process starts will be keep on the same process will be keep on repeating till till at what condition the same process will be repeating it unless the, until the refrigerator re reaches to the maximum temperature once the refrigeration reaches to the maximum temperature means uh, whenever it is goes to this maximum temperature automatically this compressor will start uh, stop uh, working there once the compressor starts stopping there means automatically the condenser also st stops because it has maintained its temperature again when it start the compressor starts uh, uh, earning means when when we go, when we open the refrigerator again the fresh air enters into the refrigerator means outside that is uh, hot air will be entered into the refrigerator or if you going to keep any other items in the, into the refrigerator automatically again the compressor starts working there to absorb the heat and to process the same process so is it clear about this so main things is evaporator compressor condenser and expansion valve based on this four parts only this vapor compression uh, refrigeration system works here the heat is you need to remember the functions is in the evaporator heat is absorbed in the uh, condenser heat is rejected but the process of compressor is it compresses the refrigerant which is in the form of vapor when it compresses what happens automatically the pressure will be increased once the pressure is increased automatically the temperature also will be increased so when it reaches to the condenser again what is the because of the condenser it releases the heat to the surroundings so automatically when it is releasing heat content or what do you call it as an latent heat so that heat will be rejected here again the vapor is changes to the liquid state again from the liquid state the pressure will be temperature will be reduced and the pressure will be there once it reaches the expansion wall that is which is uh, reaches the expansion wall is nothing but the refrigerant which is flowing inside these tubes once it reaches to the expansion wall what happens uh, uh, regularly when it expand into the wall automatically the temperature the pressure also will be reduced now the refrigerant will be in the form of low pressure with a low temperature again it moves to the evaporator again from the evaporator the process same it goes to the condenser compressor compressor to the condenser condenser to the expansion wall this is about the working principle of the vapor compression refrigeration cycle or we call it as a refrigeration system so whenever the heat is extracted in the evaporator we call it as a cabinet or we can consider as a system system is nothing but a refrigerator so that evaporator you can able to see in the back side where you can able to see in the refrigerator even you can able to see the condenser also which is available inside the back side of the refrigerator so where based on this process only we can able to reduce the temperature from the surroundings inside the refrigeration to keep fresh of any like uh, food items whether it might be vegetables or whether it might be any fruits to preserve that items we are going to use this refrigerator i hope you have understood that the concept of refrigeration